Negative numbers are any number less than zero. Imagining something less than zero can be difficult. Suppose you have a bowl of oranges, and someone takes them away until you have zero left. When there's nothing, it's hard to imagine being able to take away more. However, there are instances in real life where we use numbers less than zero. For example, did you know the average temperatures at the top of Mount Everest range from negative 19 degrees Celsius to negative 36 degrees Celsius? Wow, that's cold! Negative numbers also appear a lot in finances to show debt. Suppose you have $50 in your bank account, but then you accidentally spend 60. Your account's balance is now negative 10. This means you owe the bank $10. To understand negative numbers even more, let's look at a number line. For every positive number, there is a negative number. Negative numbers can also be thought of as the opposite of a positive number. So, the opposite of 5 is negative 5. You might also notice that as we go further down the number line, the negative numbers appear to get larger. However, the numbers are really getting smaller. For example, negative 10 is smaller than negative 5. This can be confusing, but think about it in terms of temperature. Suppose on a winter's day it's negative 25 degrees Celsius in Barrow, Alaska, and negative 35 degrees Celsius in Stanley, Idaho. Stanley would be colder than Barrow because negative 35 is lower than negative 25. Now you know the basics of negative numbers.